hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is queen and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to make a youtube intro video using your CapCut app so to make a youtube intro video using your CapCut app you'll be needing two things the first one is the graphics background and the second one is the subscribe button so to get your graphics background all you need to do is to go over to pixels app Pixels app is a free app that gives you copyright free pictures and videos. When you get over to this app, you just go and type on the search button graphics video. So when you get to this part, all you have to do is to go over and choose what works for you. After choosing what you want, all you need to do is to click on the download button and it will download right into your phone after getting your download from pixels go over to youtube and then check for green screen subscribe button so all you need to do at this point is to go over and look for this particular subscribe button you need once you've seen it is either you download it or you screen record it the most important thing is that we need this particular green screen video to be on your phone okay so after getting the subscribe button and the graphics video background the next thing you want to do is to head over to your CapCut app at this point just go and select the video you downloaded from pixels okay So the first thing I want to do to this video is to reduce the opacity. Reason is because blue is not my color, so I don't want this blue to be too sharp. So I will just go over to CapCut feature and look for opacity. Okay, when you click on opacity, I will then reduce the opacity. You you've noticed that as I'm taking it down. The color is getting darker, not just the color, the entire video is getting darker. So I will just leave it at 30. At least this is better. And then I'll click on my check mark. The next thing I want to do is to duplicate this video. Reason is because the length of this video is short, it's just 10 seconds, and I want my intro video to be at least 15 seconds long. So all I do is I will just go and click on du on duplicate and it duplicates the video. I'll just move over and add like five extra seconds to what we already have and then I'll split it and I'll delete the other part. At this point, what I want to do is to add a transition between these two clips because without a seamless transition it will be obvious that i use more than one clip for this video so i will just go and click between the both videos and then i'll be adding a transition so after adding the transition the next thing i want to do is to put in my name and what my channel is about to do this, I will just go over to text and add my text, but I don't want my text, like my name, to pop out immediately the video starts. So I will just leave a second space and then I will add in my text. At this point, I will just go in and add my name, Nini Queen. After adding my name, I'll go and change my font to what I want and I will go over to style and just increase this font to what I want. I'll go over to strokes and add strokes just so my name can stand out and then I'll add my bold and I'll add my italic to it. At this particular point the next thing i want to do is to go over to animations and adding animations so i want my name to come out slowly 
So I'll be using the zoom in effect. And then I will just control the seconds, how many seconds I want the zoom in effect to work. After doing that, I will go in and increase the length of my text to the end of the video. So the next thing I want to do is to go in again and add what my YouTube channel is about. But then I'm not going to add it from where I added my name. So I'll just go a bit after my name has popped out fully. That's when I want what my channel is about. So I'll just add my cursor here where the arrow ends immediately after the end of the arrow i'll be adding another text so at this particular point i'll be adding in what my channel is about after adding what my channel is about i'll go over to front and change the font to what i want then i'll go back to style and reduce the size bring it downward to where i want it to be i'll bold in it and i will still add the italics like i did my name after this point i will go and add in animation to the text when you're satisfied the next thing you do is to click on your check mark and then at this point you will increase your text to the end of the video just like you did the other one at this point what we want to bring in is our subscribe button remember the subscribe button we took from youtube this is where you bring it so i want the subscribe button to come out just immediately after what my youtube channel is about pops out so like we did for the name we we'll put our cursor where the arrow where the animation arrow ends to bring in your subscribe button all you need to do is to go to overlay add overlay and then bring in the subscribe button so after bringing in your subscribe button while your cursor is still on your subscribe button you go over and check for remove bg click on it click on chroma key move your cursor to the part where we have the green color and then increase the intensity you notice as i'm increasing the intensity all the green part is going off so at this point you click your check mark and then you reduce the size of your subscribe button reduce it to what you want and just put it at the middle you can decide to put it at the side just do it to your preference okay after we've checked and everything is okay the next thing we want to do is to go in and add an audio to our youtube video intro so to add an audio all you need to do is go to audio click on audio and then click on sound effects and just go in and choose a sound you want to add so after adding the music i will just go in and reduce the volume of the music because it's a youtube intro you don't want it to be too loud so let's check how that it looks like Okay, this is nice. At this point, you just split the music and take off the part that is remaining. The next thing we want to do is to add some sound effects to the text. We've added a music to the full video, okay? But now what I want to do is to go in and add sound effects to the text so i will just go over to text and then here where what i do on my channel is popping out i'll be adding some kind of um, a sound effect to it 
so to do that you will just drop your cursor where you want the sound effect to be and you will go over to audio go over to sound effects and then on the search button i'll be searching for glitch sound now that i have brought it in i will just play to know So it's kind of short compared to what is happening to the text on the screen. So what I will do here is to simply duplicate it. So it will work with the text. Duplicate it again. What I'm doing right now is to know exactly where I'm cutting off. Okay, so I duplicated it twice. But the second one, I'll be cutting almost half of it. So this idea is try as much as possible for your sound to correspond with what is happening on your screen. Okay, so at this point, all you have to do is just to go over it and check if you're okay with what you have made, if you're not okay with it, if maybe you want to increase the volume somewhere or reduce the volume somewhere, this is the point. You do all those adjustments and after that, click save and you're good to go. So guys, this is my final result. Please do well to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on my next video. Bye.